Dr. Michael Martin, he is the president of Florida Gulf Coast University. That's located in Fort Myers. That was right in the crosshairs of Hurricane Ian when it came ashore. Dr. Martin, thank you for joining us. Good morning. Good to see you. Uh, we spoke to one of your students yesterday. He was a junior communications major, said that the, you folks were in the gym. You were playing board games with each other, sort of hunkering down. Uh, how did the gym fare amidst 155 mile per hour winds? We came out of it all right. The, the uh, arena is holding up. The students are holding up well. We've kept them fed and watered, and uh, they're entertaining themselves, which is what they're pretty good at. So we're feeling okay. We're, we're, the concern is we're going to be in there a while. And right now, the campus doesn't have water, so we're working to figure out how to get uh, uh, non-potable water if necessary. Uh, we, can, we can provide plenty of bottled water. But the bottom line is everything is hanging in there pretty well. And I imagine this is kind of the cost of doing business when you have a school in Florida. You have to plan every fall semester just in case there's a hurricane, and this semester, semester there was. We did, and you know, five years ago, Irma came right through the middle of the campus. So we have a pretty good staff, very well trained and very uh, attuned to what needs to be done under these conditions. Have you been able to leave wherever you are and go survey the campus and see what damage has been done? That's underway right now. Our crew is out looking at it. I'm going to join them in a little bit, but that's exactly what we're up to. We want to check first the residence halls to see if the students can move back into the residence halls. And then we'll look at the other facilities as well. And we're also trying to uh, connect with all of our faculty and staff out in the community to see how they're doing and what we can do to assist them. Now, I know that Florida Gulf Coast has a large commuter uh, attendance uh, there. So how did you deal with your students before the storm and telling them, you can stay here in the gym, it's going to be safe for you to stay, but you can also yeah. go home? How did you make sure they made that decision early enough to make sure that they were safe? Well, we, the minute that we got uh, news that this was heading our way, we began communicating with them through all kinds of media. And you know, uh, the students today are much better at social media than some of the uh, older technology. So we we were we were uh, keeping them apprised at all turns. And of course, anyone who was here who was uh, from northern part of the state shouldn't be heading for home. So most of them were heading to the east. Uh, but we also let them know that we were going to make sure we provided for them. They would be safe and they would be uh, as comfortable as we could make them in a big uh, arena. We had uh, a large number during Irma in that arena, so we've got staff that know what they're doing. And the students were confident in that. And they did a nice job. The, the, the students are really cooperative, and uh, we started moving them in uh, in the evening uh, just before the day of the storm. And they s settled down and were fine. And Dr. Martin, how big is your enrollment, and then how many of those students were in the gym? Well, there's, our enrollment's just about 16,000. We had only about 400 in the gym that decided to uh, join us here. Um, we may get more now as people's uh, living conditions may not allow them to stay in their homes. So we're teeing up for that as we speak. Uh, but this time around, and this, the county didn't open us as a countywide shelter, at least they haven't yet. And there's a very large arena near us that took in an awful lot of people called Hertz Arena. So I think we're right now, we're just in a holding pattern with that 400 plus uh, in the building and waiting to see who else shows. We're expecting a team from FEMA, a rescue team, search and rescue team to arrive and we'll house them as well. So we're teeing up for whatever comes next. That is Dr. Michael Martin. He's the president of Florida Gulf Coast University located right there in Fort Myers. Dr. Martin, thank you for your time today. You're very welcome. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.